Hey guys, it's Vinny91, and I'm once again bringing you a Walking Dead character bio, and today we're talking about Lily. Yes, that is right, the infamous Lily. She, who in just three episodes in, ep in season one made such a big impact that most people wanted her back, either for revenge or just because they really liked the character. Now, why do I think that is? I think partly it's because of her exit. Lily was a strong character, yes, but she also had a very big exit. She either kills Carly because Carly really got her mad, or she tries to kill Ben and accidentally kills Doug. Then she either steals the RV or gets left on the side of the road. That's a pretty big exit from any character that has survived any of the seasons. But enough about the past, let's talk about Lily now. Lily is first introduced in episode 2 where she is revealed to be the leader. She actually at first seems pretty unchanged, but that is not true. She is different now. Even though she still has that whole best for the group mentality, now that she's with Delta and she believes getting those kids are best for the group, she does it. In Lily's mind, doing what's for the group is right, basically. However, Lily clearly still hasn't completely gotten over her past. It seems that she never fully moved on from what happened with her first group. And there may even be a little bit of regret there. Not much, but a little. In any case, what is Lily's biggest attribute now? Is it what's best for the group? Not exactly. Even though, yes, she still has that mentality of she basically wants to do whatever is best for the group, just like she did in season one. But that's not her biggest attribute. Is it being a strong woman? Uh, kind of, but not really. Because even though she is a strong woman and a strong character, as I pointed out, whenever she's in a scene, that's her scene. You are just there to watch. So what is her biggest attribute? Well, being a survivor. What do I mean by that? Yes, I understand she can die to AJ, but notice how Lily flips the minute she realizes she is in that position. When it's 10, she realizes, listen, this little kid is not going to pull this trigger. So she even puts the gun to her own head and is like, come on, shh, pull the trigger. But with AJ, she knows. She realizes AJ is going to pull that trigger without a second thought. So what does she do? She switches straight into survival mode. AJ, wait! I give up! I will give up! Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. She tries everything to survive. When she took the RV, that was survival. When she got left on the side of the road, did she go into field position and cry? Did she let the walkers hear? No, she survived. And that's Lily's main attribute. She's a survivor. Just like how when after the boat explodes and everything, Lily realizes, hey, it's time to go. Even how when she invaded the school and she's like, let's cut our losses, let's get out of here, Lily survives. Even though, yes, AJ can kill her, Lily will do what she has to, to survive. Even when it means, in some cases, betraying the group. Because remember, she abandoned three of her members when she left if she survives episode three. Why? I'm a survivor, Clem. I know when to cut and run. So even though Lily's return was probably one of the best things that happened this season, in my opinion, it's still left wanting more. I just feel like they barely used her. Episode 2, she must have had three scenes in total. And then episode 3, she had probably the same amount of scenes. And like I said, even though she's a strong character and the scene she's in, she basically completely dominates. I still feel as she suffered from them not going to Delta. It would have been cool to see her actually taking orders instead of leading. I understand that's not usual for her character, but it would have been cool to see that side of her. Once again, her survival instinct. She doesn't have to lead. She just has to survive. So I really think they kind of botched the re Lily's return. I mean, you finally have this return of a character who people have been wanting to come back since season two. And yet you have to mess it up by barely using her. I really think had they gone to Delta, had we met another real antagonist, a Carver-like antagonist maybe, and you have seen Lily as an underling, I think we would have gotten a new side of Lily, one that we haven't seen before, because we've never really seen Lily when she's not the boss. We, we, let's just face it. Lily, when she's there, she's the boss. So I think that was a missed opportunity, not going to Delta, not seeing that side of Lily. And I really think that her comeback, even though it wasn't awful, it wasn't that good. Because... I really think they just missed a giant opportunity with her. Lily's a strong character. To have her in barely any scenes and basically just have her be this new big bad, I guess you want to call it, just seemed like a waste for her character. And I feel like they should have done more.
But what do you guys think about Laser Turn? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.